Hello and welcome back to World 360. Just outside an emergency room of a hospital in an alley were dozens of people lying on hospital beds. And these beds were placed under makeshift tents. It felt like we were in a wartime refugee camp, remarked one nurse. Now this is an anecdote from a BBC report and you might be surprised to learn that it is not about the ongoing war in Ukraine. Rather, it paints a picture of how severe the COVID-19 situation in Hong Kong has become thanks to the Omicron variant. This comes at a time when the pandemic is almost becoming an endemic in certain parts of the world, even in India. After being somewhat successful in staving off the virus for nearly two years, Hong Kong is now reporting a record number of cases a day, upwards of 30,000. Cases have been steadily rising since early January. Let's look at some data. On February 28th, Hong Kong reported 34,466 cases. In the seven-day period from 22nd to 28th February, an average of 20,462 cases were reported per day as compared to about 5,000 cases per day from 15th to 21st February. So as you can see, cases are climbing rapidly. Now this is surprising if we look at just how few cases Hong Kong has registered since the start of the pandemic. Since 31st December 2019, Hong Kong has recorded just about 2 lakh cases and until about December 2021, it had reported under 50,000 of total infections. It shows that a majority of the cumulative cases, nearly 1.5 lakhs out of 2 lakhs, were registered over just the last 2 months. Also, since 31st December 2021, among the number of locally acquired infections, which refers to patients who did not report travelling abroad, about 67% were known to have been fully vaccinated, according to Hong Kong authorities. When it comes to imported cases, which refers to patients who did in fact report a travelling history, most have reported coming from Indonesia, Nepal, Thailand, the UAE and Singapore. Very few infected patients in Hong Kong reported having travelled to India. Let's quickly look at the deaths. There have been 744 coronavirus-related deaths reported in Hong Kong since the start of the pandemic. But on Monday itself, the city of 7.4 million people reported 87 fatalities. That's about one-eighth of the total number of cumulative deaths reported in just one day. More so, we're seeing bodies pile up in mortuaries as they reach full capacity. There has been a surge of COVID-related deaths. Lau Ka Hin, a senior administrator at Hong Kong's hospital authority, told British newspaper The Telegraph. We can't fully process the transferal of bodies. Therefore, you will see some bodies piled up in accident and emergency rooms. Another doctor, Dr. Daryl Tse, a plastic surgeon in Hong Kong, even went as far as to say he didn't think the quarantine rules and social distancing are having much effect. Let's now look at the health policy in Hong Kong as it handles this chaotic wave. The jury is still out on whether a lockdown will be imposed. On Monday, Hong Kong Secretary for Food and Health, Sophia Chan Sui Chi, said the government would not rule out the possibility of a lockdown. Last Tuesday, however, Chief Executive Carrie Lam proposed citywide mass testing that would not require a lockdown. This would be compulsory COVID-19 testing. Now, local media reported that this kind of mass testing would start after March 17th, prompting fears that people would be forced to isolate and families with members testing positive would be separated. And what's this done? It's created panic with people flocking to supermarkets and grocery stores to hoard as many essential items as they can. Social media has also been flooded with pictures of empty grocery store shelves and long queues outside stores. Pharmacies have also reportedly run out of flu medications as well. What we're seeing in Hong Kong is almost deja vu of what countries were experiencing in 2020, back when the pandemic just began. Record high daily cases, panic buying, hospitals overwhelmed, mortuaries overflowing. It's a wartime environment, as Carrie Lam said last week. In fact, Lam had reportedly said that the situation has far exceeded the Hong Kong government's abilities and so there is great need for the central government's support in fighting the virus. Central government here refers to China, of course. So let's see what support is provided in the days to come and whether compulsory mass testing in Hong Kong is even viable. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Krishnkuti for The Print. Do subscribe to The Print Audience and follow us on social media.